Hi YouTubers, I've got the um, scope pointing at the moon. Hopefully this will work second time round. Uh, camera's in. Turn the scope on. <clears throat> Bear with me. Hopefully we'll get to see this now. <clears throat> That's close. <laughs> that is close. Let's do the focus. Camera's going to shake while I'm doing it. So. Okay. So now, here we go, live on the moon. Bear with me. You can tell I've never done this before. Slow, slow down. That's pretty amazing. That <laughs> this is um, done on a uh, a Mead um, one or two star gate star navigator refractor scope uh, with a very basic webcam. <clears throat> I believe a dark crater you can see there is a crater called Plato. Uh, centered there. Gonna try to focus again. It's a bit shaky because I'm touching the scope. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that, I think. It's too hard to focus and uh, see the image at the same time. Have a little look around anyway. I don't know all these craters as yet, so uh, you have to bear with me, but at least you can have a look at them anyway. Uh, <clears throat> I think these two are called um, Kepler Crater on the left and Copernicus Crater on the right there in white. Let's 
quite a deep ridge there. You can see on the left of the screen. I'll just centre it. I think that's uh, not sure what that is. Oh yeah, that's um, I think no, I think that may be Tycho crater. My camera's looking at the what it what it is is the bottom of the moon um south side um but it's showing on camera as the north side because it's got a mirror in it that is reversing what i see and what the camera sees It's um, as I said, it's only a mid one or two refractor telescope um, with a two times Barlow and a basic cheap webcam. Um, that's all I'm using. It's a little bit windy, that's why the camera's shaking a bit. Let's see about that wind. Getting some quite good detail though. Um, and while I'm in the YouTube settings, I don't think I can alter anything on the camera. So it stays as it is. Quite impressive landscape. So I think we're now on what would be the east side of the moon. Although it looks uh, looks like it's on the west side on the camera, but as I said, that's because the mirror in the scope reverses it. Still got no views left, uh, no views at the moment. So 
We're now looking at what would be north of the moon. As you move away from the shadow line, the detail gets a bit less. Because the shadow picks all the detail up. You can still see craters there and stuff. Some landscape. Quite a bit of a mountainous area that. Some very uh, hilly landscape. The moon's quite low down in the sky as well, so um, also getting a little bit of uh, turbulence in the atmosphere, causing it to shake as well. I, uh, I don't know if I can get the focus any better than that. I'll give it a go. See hard to focus in there when it jumps about you can't really see if it's in focus or not. Might have got it a little bit better than what it was anyway. Let's keep going on. Auto, auto white balance on kicking in. It does look like it's better in focus anyway. Tracking's not working as good as it should be. That's because I'm moving about as well while it's tracking. Tracking does settle down if I uh, don't move the scope manually. That's tracking now on its own and staying there. Keep going up anyway. Two crates are side by side.
Ah, typical. Just got some cloud cover. So that might be the end of the broadcast for now. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Anyway, um, I'll try and do as many as, of these as I can. Um, I may do another one later if the sky clears up. But just looking now, it was clear when I started this video, and now it's uh, more or less completely cloudy. Okay, catch you later, guys.